Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a planner update for you. And this is obviously not my tool disc bound. Not gonna lie, I didn't use it for about a month and a half and it just became a little too cumbersome. So I abandoned it for a bullet journal at the beginning of July. So this is by Moleskine and I picked it up from Barnes and Noble. It is a completely blank journal and I did that on purpose because I tend to be quite a perfectionist when it comes to planner pages and in addition to that, I didn't want the visual clutter of lines or grids or you know grid dots. So I just really thought that it was a better option for me and again trying to challenge that perfectionism. I think really, you know, the blank pages really do help with that. So I have this lovely profanity sticker on the front. Sorry, not sorry. I love profanity if you didn't already know. And it does come with two bookmarks. So the black one I use for my monthly and then this kind of silver color, I attached a little flower that I crocheted and I just put it on there with using my hot glue gun, but that's for my daily section. So to show you what everything looks like, you're also gonna get to see how things have progressed. And I'm just going to preface this by saying that None of this is aesthetically pleasing at all. I'm not trying to go for aesthetically pleasing in any sense, just because it takes more time and I feel like it. I get super rigid with things. So I'm just kind of going with the flow and doing what I feel like and I think that's best in any situation. But this is what the front cover looks like and I just have a bunch of stickers in here that I thought were cute or that I liked for whatever reason. So just nothing that special. And on this page, I kind of use it as like a notes section. So I don't keep actual notes in here because I want it to primarily be for my actual planner stuff. And I'll get to this in a minute, but I like to use post-its and note cards as you guys know. So if there's anything that requires me to do research, I'll put it on a post-it and I'll stick it in here. After I've gotten all the information that I feel like I need, I then transfer it into a separate notebook. And then I am using Google Calendar in conjunction with this planner because I've been letting things fall by the wayside and I'm trying to get to a point where I have my bill due dates memorized again. So that's part of the reason why, but also just because I wanna make sure that I'm staying on top of appointments and things like that as well. Right here, this sticker has the dimensions of the pages so that I can just refer back to it if I need to. And then I just have like some stuff for helping to manage ADHD and stuff like that. So this is how it actually started. And I had no intentions of using color or washi tape, any of that stuff. And you're gonna find that that went out the window pretty quickly. So I was using a stencil originally and then I decided that I didn't like that because it was just too much. And I, again, just wanted it to kind of be like more so for fun, I guess you could say, while also keeping track of all the stuff that I need to. So I did glue these pages together and you're gonna see like on some of them, I glued even more together, but I did pull them apart just because I didn't like the fact that I couldn't flip through the pages. So that's what it looked like before. And then this is kind of the idea that I've kept for the consecutive pages. So the biggest thing that I love is that I have the appointment section or just a little portion of the page is dedicated just to appointments. And I like that because I can write down the things that I want to talk about with whoever I'm seeing. And in addition to that, if I have to make another appointment with them on the spot, I can just write that in right there. So it's very handy, but this is how it started. And then I got some scrapbook paper and I just taped it in there using washi. 
and that's kind of how the whole blue theme for June was born. But this is what my monthly looks like, and it is by no means anything fancy, but it does work, which I think is really important. So the month is right here. I have it starting on a Monday, ending on a Sunday. I have the week numbers right here. And then these are all of my appointments. I use a Pilot Friction Pen, <clears throat> excuse me, for all of that, just so that it's easy for me to erase and add things in, you know, what have you. And as things pass, I do end up highlighting them. I've also been highlighting the weeks using a gray mild liner. But some of these things, as you can tell, they are not appointments. And I do that on purpose because with my ADHD, I tend to be very forgetful when it comes to certain things. So for example, sending out my best friend's birthday gift or sending out my dad's birthday card, I try to do that like a week in advance, but I have to literally put it in my planner because otherwise I will forget. And then at the bottom, I just have some tasks. This washi on the side was supposed to continue onto the other page, but I had already written on this side and I didn't want to cover it up. So I just left it like this and then I created the little tab at the top. But this is kind of, you know, switching it up a little bit, adding in some more colors. And then it just, I feel like kind of exploded and went insane. So I did add a note section and I really, really love that aspect. I have actually kept that, which you'll see once we get to today's page. But I also added in a couple of other blocks. So the first thing is bills due and bills being paid. So I have bills that are due like randomly. They're not necessarily random, but they happen quarterly. And I never know the exact date that they're due. So that's why I put being paid. And then appointments, I just explained that. Birthdays, holidays, and events, pretty self-explanatory. I also included wins and whips. So a win is something that I've been working on that I feel like I did really well at. And then a whip is a work in progress. So it's something that I really need to, you know, try to focus more of my energy on and to do better at. But I've loved having a large space for tasks and also for notes. I also included a notes page for the end of the week and I really do like this as well. So I have it split up into categories. So all I do at the end of every week is I just go through my notes and I split them into these different categories just so that it's a little bit easier for me to find things. But there's bills, personal, miscellaneous, financial, family, social, and home. And then you can see I did start to add in stuff like stickers and washi and I did have to cover up some of this information because it is sensitive but I have really really been loving this and you can see I was playing around with some of the colors and stuff like that and it's just honestly I feel like my life is back on track but I did make these into actual boxes on the notes page this time. And then I wasn't going to do this before, but I did include a weekly spread. So I have a quote of the week and then any appointments and events, as well as goals for the week and also just a glance at the month. So I just have the days blocked off and then any tasks that I need to finish for that week or start on. And then you can kind of see that I was playing around with my pages a little bit. So I have been trying to track certain things, but I just wasn't really sure how I wanted to. So that's how we get to this. So I've decided to just do this and have these cute little hearts up at the top. So they stand for different things that I need to constantly be working on for my eating disorder recovery, which is food, water, movement, and then no binging or mindless eating. So I've really enjoyed including that because it just reminds me that it's all part of self-care, but I really 
as you can tell, have been enjoying this layout in particular. So who's to say how it's going to change in the future? But I do sometimes plan a little bit in advance. The most that I like to do is just put these little stickers from Avery with the dates and the day at the top. I might do the washi, but I usually tend to do that a day in advance and not much further. And then, as you can see, I do have stuff written in in pencil, and that's just to kind of give me a rough idea of where I'm at. And I also have been planning on doing like an end of month. So this will just be a notes page, but it'll just have all of the notes from before just in a more condensed version. And then I was thinking of doing a beginning of month and a monthly. So I have just kind of been planning that out on these post-its. And then that way, if I end up having to jump forward a few pages, then I can just take these out and it's just super simple. But at least it gets the idea, you know, I guess the idea is flowing. And then I just have all the stuff for the month of August in here as well. But that is pretty much it. It is super simple, super bare bones, and it's not frilly. It's not anything that's really involved. I mean, what do I do? I draw a couple of lines and I put some washi down and like one sticker and that's about it. So this has been a lot more enjoyable for me versus trying to have things look super perfect in my disc bound and I've honestly been really enjoying this. So something that I didn't share, which I will now, is you might have seen this fall out of my planner as I was holding it up, but this sits on my daily spread. So whatever day it is, I just will have it on there like this and it just sits there. And that's mainly because these are reminders. So I have the same dimensions right here on a little sticker in the upper right hand corner. And then there's also opening duties, which are things that I try to do in the morning, closing duties, which are things I try to do at night. And then I have all of my weekly tasks, which if you guys saw my disc bound update from I think March, I have definitely whittled that down quite a bit. And that was just because I felt like it was way too much and it didn't need to be. I also have monthly tasks. So more or less, this is just zone cleaning, but you know, it's specific for whatever chunk of the month it is. And then because again, I have ADHD, it's hard for me to be motivated to do things that my brain doesn't get dopamine from. So mundane tasks like doing the dishes or cleaning my cat's litter, I absolutely detest them. I would rather do anything else. I would rather jump off a cliff, but they have to be done. So I found out that if you time yourself with, you know, while you're doing these tasks and you write it down, then when you don't feel like doing it, you can just refer back to this and then it makes the task seem a lot smaller. Yes, I dread getting the mail. I know, I just, it's never been a thing that I've liked, but I timed myself and it literally takes me three minutes. So this just makes it seem like it's more manageable and that way I'm like, okay, I can totally get that done and you know, we'll be okay. I can actually make time for it, but just kind of what I've been doing that's been working for me. So to show you guys what I've been using, I have this little pencil box, whatever that like kids use, and I have some scissors in here. There's an X-Acto knife. There's a whole slew of writing utensils. And for the most part, the colored ones are the Papermate Flare pens. And then I do have some of these really nice Stabilo .88s and they're in the fine .4. These are super, super nice. You can get them at Michael's, but I've just been kind of using a mixture of all of these. You know, sometimes I use colors, sometimes I don't, but 
for the most part, that is what I have. That's more on the creative side, I guess you could say. And then as far as washi is concerned, I used to have a huge collection of it back in the day. And then I ended up donating all of it. So this is all that I have right now. And I only had about three rolls before. So I did buy a bunch of these just for my bullet journal, but I am actively using them. So I have just really been enjoying it, but I do have a glue stick and also some tweezers in here for just putting down washi or stickers or what have you. And then this is pretty much the same as when I was using it with my disc bound, but this is actually a five by seven photo case. And I actually really love these for storing like stationary stuff in. So I just have some post-its and a, what is it, flash drive that I use primarily for work, but it does have some planner stuff on it. And then these are the writing utensils that I have in here, which I'll get to in a second. But these are the little Avery stickers that I was talking about before. I have this bullet journal stencil from Barnes and Noble and a random Filofax ruler. There's some white post-its and I also have different types of note cards. There's some stickers and there's also a paper clip in case I need it. But pretty much these are all the same as what I've been using in the past, but gray mild liner and then mechanical pencil. Primarily what I use to write in my planner is actually a Sharpie pen and it's just in 0.7. And then this is the Pilot Friction that I mentioned. It's in 0.7. I use that on my monthlies. This is actually what I use for my lines. It's a Pilot Precise V7 and I'm just using it because I had it, honestly. I also have this Pilot Precise V5 RT and these are actually really nice pens and I just use this if I have to write something in smaller font, but that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some ideas, but if you did enjoy it, do me a favor and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I. I'm planning on having a meal planning video for you guys next week. So if you're interested, make sure you look for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys.